girls, so this is going to be how I found out I was pregnant and my two week wait symptoms. So if you have not already watched my announcement video, I will have a link for that down below. I am currently four weeks pregnant with baby number two and this baby is due October 2015. I was feeling um, during my two week wait. Again, I really don't know exactly when I ovulated because if you guys have watched my past videos, um, I was getting positive ovulation tests for an entire week. So I have no idea when I ovulated, so I wasn't quite sure what my, how many DPO I was or days past ovulation. So I'm just gonna kinda go over symptoms that I started noticing after that week of positive ovulation tests. Two or three days after I stopped testing, which was cycle day 20, I started to feel lots of cramping. Um, cramping more than usual. I had a lot of um, really, I guess, um, watery CM. Um, I started to get really tired to the point where I was needing to take a nap during the day. And I kind of started noticing it very slowly. Like it just kind of crept up on me, um, you know, being so fatigued. And um, I'm a night owl, so I like to stay up, you know, 12, 2 p.m. It's kind of different for me that I was starting to fall asleep between 10 and um, 9 and 10 at night. So I'm cramping, um, my boobs started to hurt on the sides, which that has never happened before. Um, usually that would happen, my nipples would be the first to hurt right before my period was due. And um, that wasn't the case this time. It was the sides of my boobs that really, really were really sore um, and it kind of went up into like my armpit area, which was kind of, again, a lot different for me. I didn't temp as much as I usually, as I usually would in past cycles just because I was getting frustrated with it. Um, fertility friend kept changing everything on me, so I had no idea what I was doing or if the results were even accurate, but my temps were pretty high. They kind of stayed that way. Um, after I had taken all the all the ovulation test. I did take a pregnancy test within the week that I got a positive and it was completely negative. I think I showed a picture of that on the video that I had posted. Um, again, I'll have links for everything down below. Emotional, I would just cry at the randomest things and I think, I can't remember what this commercial it was, but there was like this commercial on the TV and I just immediately just got so emotional over it. like. I don't even know, even remember what it was. I think it had to do something with like some kind of animal and it was just kind of like a random commercial and it just made me cry. I also was starting to lose a lot of my patients. Like I was starting to like snip at Dave a little bit more, which is really weird. Um, Cause I usually have to have a reason for me to be angry at him and I was just kind of grouchy towards him and I was still having the cramping. Um, on cycle day 27, um, I think it was probably around the AM or PM, I can't remember which. Um, I took a pregnancy test. Um, I thought I saw something there. I wasn't quite sure. So I tested again the next day on cycle day 28 and I could see like a very like shadow of a line. And I even, I remember sitting on the bed and telling Dave, I was like, I think I'm pregnant, like for real. Like I've been kind of saying, telling him, you know, these last couple months that we've been trying that I think I'm pregnant, I think I'm pregnant, and it never came true, but this time, I just kind of had this feeling, and it was especially after I had all those positive ovulation tests, I just had this really weird feeling, like, I think it was like my maternal instincts just telling me, hey, you know, something's changing in your body, you're pregnant, you know, you gotta start taking care, care of yourself better, so... Um, that's when I started to drink the green juices and that's kind of what I've been doing um, since, you know, since then is just been drinking a lot of green juice and things like that. And um, I know I just, I had just a really weird feeling that I was pregnant. On cycle day 29, um, it was probably like my second morning year and I took a test and it was positive. And I'm so bummed that I didn't get my reaction because I was like crying and laughing at the same time and like thanking God. I was just so, so happy and so excited. So then I took another run later that day because I didn't believe it. And again, it was still positive right away. And I was actually using the Veer Quick or Very Quick um, Dollar Tree ones. So I was super excited that it, you know, popped up right away. And uh, so I... I kind of announced it to Dave in a special way, which I'll have a separate, I'll have that video coming up pretty soon, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. I'm not sure if I'll upload it with this video, but if I do, I will have a link for it down below. So then that day I called my doctor's office and they got me in on um, that following Tuesday and um, they drew my blood. My HCG level was at 13 
and then they kept drawing it every you know two to three days and each time it kept doubling and even tripling that's good that's definitely a sign that this baby's healthy and especially with all with all the symptoms I have been having after I had I had gotten a positive pregnancy test was that I was starting to kind of get into that stage where I don't have really an appetite but I want certain things I wouldn't really call it a craving because it's not something that I'm like constantly wanting but it's just more of I don't have an appetite but I just want this because that's what's on hand. A lot of chicken noodle soup and fruits and green smoothies. Also I had no desire for chocolate and if you guys know me or if anybody that's watching these videos that knows me know that I have an obsession with chocolate like it was like to the point where like I had to have chocolate almost every day so um, that's probably why I failed on a lot of my diets was because that was just something I couldn't up. The thought of chocolate just doesn't sound appealing to me anymore. On one hand, I'm like kind of ecstatic that I'm kind of getting away from that, but on the other hand, I'm like super sad because I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening? <laughs> I'm not myself. That's pretty much it for how we found out and my symptoms. Um, I'm going to go in and to continue to go in to have my blood draws until my appointment, which is February 27th. And I believe then they will be doing an ultrasound as well. So I will definitely keep you guys updated. Um, if any of you have any questions or you want any more of these type of videos, um, let me know in the comments below.